uh, this is a short video to demonstrate um, an invention that I've made and it's uh, basically a safety device to um, to try and prevent uh, deaths of toddlers when they're getting strangled by blind cords uh, basic idea basically it's um if downwards pressure is applied uh, a blade will cut the blind cord and uh, I'll demonstrate how it works now for you I uh, just want to point out as well, by the way, I, I'm not interested in making any money from this. I, I'm not painting anything. Uh, this is something I've just invented and I want to get out there, you know, into the public domain so that uh, hopefully somebody somewhere, you know, who knows how to make products uh, can make this, get it out there, make it cheap, sell it, do what you want. I'm, I'm not bothered. I just want to uh, try and prevent or at least uh, reduce uh, these, these tragic deaths that are happening. Uh, it was in the news again, it was only about four days ago, that sadly a toddler, two and a half year old, had died. Um, and hopefully this kind of device might might save some lives one day. Okay, so the uh, the first step of the test is installation. Very simple. Just place that there like so. Oops. <laughs> Maybe not quite so simple. Alright, so place that like that. And there's a cover plate that goes on top. Two bolts to hold the cover plate in place. Now, the um, you know a proper product would probably just have these uh, threaded nuts at the back here, sort of incorporated into the product, so that all the end user would have to do is uh, just screw the bolts in place. It'll just take me a little bit longer because it's just a prototype. But uh, I've purposely made this um, front plate clear as well, just so that you can see the inner workings of it while I'm testing it. Okay, so there, installed. Um, as you can see here, the blind can be operated as normal. There it is, there it goes. Just as normal. Now, this is the first test, see how it goes. I'm going to put, apply downward pressure and this should, in theory, cut the cord. There you go. Perfect. Okay, that first test worked. So just to make sure it wasn't a one-off or a fluke, I'm going to test the whole thing again from start to finish. So, just putting in there the front plate. And the retention bolts. Oh, I should point out by the way, the blade's just fallen out. Um, in the real product, if somebody makes this, it would be quite easy for them to make a device or a little um, sort of part that sticks out that would actually keep that in place and prevent it from falling out. Obviously, <laughs> you don't want a scalpel blade to get in the hands of a toddler, that wouldn't be good. So, there we are, installed. I'll just make sure I've installed that correctly, yep. Yeah. So, use it as normal. And then the test, apply down with pressure. Excellent. I'm happy with that. Okay, so I've uh, I've opened up the uh, the invention here just so you can see how it works. There you go. No secrets. Really simple. Um, like I say, I'm not interested in painting anything uh, because I've released this on the internet on YouTube. It means it's out in the public domain. Good thing is now nobody can paint it. It's um, free information. Uh, I you know I just want to see this product get made. Really seems to work. Um, so yeah, hopefully it'll do a bit of good.